Hey, what's up, dudes? Jade here. Uh, just bringing you a game review on Path of Exile. I was uh, browsing around the Hubbard forums and came across this thread about this game called Path of Exile. So I figured I'd download it and check it out. Um, I've been playing for a few days now, and I think I've got my character oh up to level 26, and I chose a ranger to play with. Um, I definitely wanted to just give it a few days to get a good idea how the game works and just you know just get a feel for it before I released a review. Um, I mean, it's kind of stupid when people like play games or like get a new item and they just like review it right when they get it. I don't really understand that. Like, I think it's a total like stupid idea. Like, at least check it out and like get a feel for everything before you make a review. Um, at least in my opinion. But uh, <clears throat> after playing it for a while, I'd say the best part about this game is it's absolutely free to play. Uh, it's kind of crazy people are paying like 60 bucks to play games like Diablo. Um, I mean, this game does have something called microtransactions. And what it is, is it's uh, certain items you can add to your character that are like cosmetic upgrades. Um, for instance, like you can get pets or you can have like glowing like armor, but none of those things change the difficulty, uh, I don't know what I should say, they don't change, like, a character or a person's, like, um, advantage or edge, like, it stays exactly the same. It's purely just cosmetics, which is really awesome, like, that's a smart way for the devs to go about, like, uh, trying to get, like, support for the game, but not making it, like, unfair for, like, all the players. Um, another cool thing is they add an extra character and then Diablo 3, um, so let's see, you have uh, the Marauder, who represents like the red strength category, which correlates to like higher weapon damage or like armor strength. Um, then you got the Ranger, which is what I'm playing as, which is like your dexterity in the green slot. Um, that's like your agility in combat, your weapon speed. Um, and then the last one's the uh, Witch, which is the blue category. And that's the intelligence, which can make up your arcane magic, your combat techniques, uh, improves like your weapon criticals, um, it's your energy shield for your armor. And then uh, in between each of those, there's uh, the hybrid characters, like the duelist. So like he's split between strength and dexterity, Templar split between strength and intelligence, and the shadow split between dexterity and intelligence. Did I just repeat two? I don't know confusing shit, but it uh, makes a lot more sense if you check out the website. You can check out all the character builds on there. It just shows everything for you. Um, and then, like, something really awesome about this game is the passive skill tree. Um, I think there's, like, over 1,300 skills for your character. And then there's, like, some major ones which, like, add, like, some, like, really big, cool things to the game. And then some of them even, like, add good things and make bad things happen so you really got to be careful like what you're putting them into but it's mostly just the larger ones that do that and then i think you get like 120 points to build your character so you can kind of like check out the map and like uh you can kind of plan ahead or on the website you can even like allocate the points and like so it adds it all up and it'll let you know how many you have left and uh you can kind of just map it out that way and then like man just go on youtube there's so many character builds and like you can probably just go on Google and just search for one. But what I like most is that, like, for instance, I'm a ranger, a ranger, so I started right here. Oh, and by the way, all the characters have the exact same uh, passive tree, so uh, it doesn't change, which makes it cool, though, because as a ranger, I could start, like, I'm probably going to stay over in this area for this build, but on my next one, I could play a ranger, and I could just, like, make my way all the way over here, and... That's just like something I think that's really cool because there's just so many like crossovers and hybrid characters you can build. Like you don't have to stay like just because I'm a ranger doesn't mean I only get ranger attributes. Like I can just work my way around this map any way I want. And I think that's a really cool thing that they did with the game and it's very smart. And uh, I don't know. I just like it's like hard to imagine like just playing this like once and feeling satisfied like I'm probably gonna have to play this game with like all the characters just try so many builds and I mean like I'm probably I feel like I'm gonna go through like 10 different builds before I like figure out something I really like playing with and uh, I think it just like uh, it makes the game just like that much enjoyable more enjoyable like you really have to like put a lot of time into it and like just see what works for you and just like uh, kind of figure out like what you think is a good build so uh, I don't know guys, if you have the chance, I definitely suggest downloading this and giving it a try. It's free to play, uh, if you want to spend money to help out the devs, you can do it by just getting those small cosmetic items, like, it's just so crazy, the customization in this game, so 
check it out. Um, this has been Jade, guys. Have a great day. See you guys later.